first thing you're gonna wanna do is remove both front wheels and tires. We've already done this, so we're gonna jump right in by disconnecting the tie rod from the steering arm. Just wanna remove your nut. You'll just grab your tie rod and pull it out. If it is to get stuck in the steering arm, what you'll do is you'll take a hammer and you'll wanna hit it right here on the steering arm. You'll hit it a couple times and they usually break free. And you wanna come right here with a flathead screwdriver and pop this clamp apart. We'll just slide it down the tie rod and then we'll go to the inside where the boot is attaching to the rack and we'll cut the zip tie off. We'll go ahead and slide our boot down. And we'll grab a big pair of channel locks. We're gonna go right up through here. Grab a hold of them. And break the inner ball and socket loose. We'll go ahead and turn it out. A lot of times, once you get it busted loose, you can just grab a hold of your tie rod and just spin it all the way out. We'll go ahead and set this aside. Then we're gonna grab our provided inner ball and socket or inner tie rod from the kit. Put a little bit of Loctite on the threads here. We'll go ahead and thread it right into the rack and pinion. Get as tight as we can with our hands, then we'll grab our channel locks again. Come up from the bottom here, and we'll just go to tightening it. And we'll just want to get this as tight as we possibly can. We got it good and tight there. We'll take our boot. We'll slide our boot right over the threads of our inner ball and socket. Slide the boot right up onto the rack and pinion, just like it was. And we'll put a zip tie. I like to take my zip tie, and just go right out here, and go ahead and get it started. Instead of trying to work up here in the tight space, it makes it a lot easier to get them started out here and then just work them in. You wanna make sure you're right on the lip of that boot. Make sure you got it good. You got it nice and tight there. Where it doesn't want to slide off on you. We'll go ahead and cut the excess off. I'm going to do the same thing for this outer portion of the boot. Over zip ties. Put it right there. We'll get that nice and tight as well. Go ahead and cut off the excess of the zip tie. We'll grab our jam nut. We'll go ahead and thread this on all the way up. And we'll grab our tie rod. We wanna make sure that the side that has this on it is going towards the outside and the side that doesn't have anything is going towards the inside. They will only install one way because one side's gonna be left hand thread. So we'll just go ahead and thread this up about three quarters of the way. And we'll go ahead and grab our tapered stud out of the hardware kit. We'll drop it right down into the steering arm. Then we'll grab our nylock nut, thread that in. And then we'll take our tie rod in, our heavy duty heim joint. And this will be left-handed thread. So make sure you know you thread it in there left-handed. Then you also want to turn your hub, everything center. Then you just want to hold on to your tie rod in there. You want to adjust it to where it just slides right on top of this stud with ease. It's on pretty easy right there. And we're going to take our misalignment bushing. And we'll slide it right down in there. We'll grab our castle nut, which is going to go on the top. Just go ahead and get that good and started. We're gonna go ahead and tighten up the lower portion of the tapered stud. Okay. 
Sometimes you'll have to take a wrench and put it on the castle nut up here just to kind of hold it in place while you tighten this up. So we got that nice and tight. Make sure that we can get our cotter pin in there. Looks like we can. We'll go ahead and tighten the castle nut until we can get our cotter pin in. Then we'll repeat all these steps for the opposite side, reinstall the wheels and tires and get the machine sat back down on the ground. So now that we have the machine sat back down on the ground, we have Corey here helping us today. We're gonna to be setting the toe. The first thing we're gonna do is roll the machine back and forth about five times to settle the suspension. Once you've got the suspension settled, you wanna go inside the machine Make sure your wheel is completely straight. And then we're gonna be taking a measurement on the front side of the front tires, as well as the rear, from center line to center line. So it looks like we're right at 52 here in the front. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the back side of the tire. And it looks like we're right at 52 on the back side of the tire as well. So the awesome thing about Super ATV's heavy duty tie rods is that they're double adjustable. So if we had to tow the tire in or tow it out, all you'd have to do is grab a hold of your tie rod and spin it either way, depending if you're towing in or towing out. Now all we get to do is tighten up our jam nuts and that's how super quick and easy it is to install Super ATV's heavy duty tie rods on this Polaris Ranger 1000. For more information on these tie rods or any of Super ATV's great products, feel free to give us a call at 855-743-3427 or check us out online at superatv.com. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.